Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to convert from your cable, your satellite, down to over the air. You're going to be able to keep your DVRs. You'll get free internet channels. And we're going to be looking at Sling TV also. So, I'm not going to go in detail in fabrication. The stuff like the DVR, the antenna, kind of comes pre-assembled pretty easy but I will be showing you some things so things you will need is that's the indoor amplifier that's to run more than 30 feet I will be using the rapid right there for my weather center you need a drill a hammer a cutter some zip ties always need some duct tape just in case this is your outdoor amplifier I do recommend you always need an outdoor preamp. There is the hard drive to pause and record two shows at, time, at a time on the DVRs. You need a ratchet set. This is some good stuff. This is called dielectric. The dielectric basically waterproofs and insulates your connectors. I got that for a buck fifty. That's pretty awesome. There's a crimper, a cutter, some ends. I use the compression types. They're more efficient. They go well. That's the top to my weather station, which I've had for years. Some cable, which we'll be cutting and using more of it. There is some poles, mass poles, and there's a tripod. So, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use your pre-existing wire. So, my TVs are mounted on the wall. The wires go down the wall, which is one reason I got the Channel Master DVRs, which this is not. This is a cable one. So, I'm going to show you how to use your pre-existing cable and your HDMI so you don't have to really change much. So, here we go. So for you satellite users, the first thing you want to do is unplug your satellite. No power to it. For us cable users and for satellite, once you've done that, let's go find your distribution block. Okay, for cable, here she is. She comes down here. She goes into here. All right. So don't be scared. So... Basically, you've got your input. This is a ground. And all these are going to either cable modems or TVs. If they're not labeled, and these were, but they've come kind of come off, it's very easy. So what you do is you find your input wire, and you don't unplug it. So once you find that guy, you're going to unplug each one of these. You're going to walk in the house and see what picture turns to static that tells you what line that is. So here we go. Okay, so the first one I unplugged was my cable modem. So you see these lights flashing, not all three. Well, since I'm keeping high speed internet, I need to plug this one back in and then try another one. So here we go. Okay, with the cable modem and the phone back on, there's the cable box. There's a TV. So I found it. All right, now I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay, so this one's my living room. So I'm just gonna pull it down. Okay, so this one is my little boys, my little girls, but my little girl's too young, she's only one, and my little boy is a Netflix DVD freak, so I'm not going to run an antenna to him for now. So these I'm going to leave, but I will hook up my little boys later to show you that I'm getting the same thing that's on cable. Uh, this guy is a jumper. Output to input. So, I want to unplug him in a few minutes. So then I get the best internet connection I need because all I need from cable now is just internet. So I'll unplug that. I will pull the wires through here. So this is my pre-dirty work. 
and then when I'm under the house I'll just pull them through okay we're back in the house here's that jumper cable I'm gonna use that later so using our pre-existing wires as we see here's my little boys room I've got it on 13 it's still playing okay so my next goal is to put the tripod on that stump get it secured I had the bear and some cats and some little plants up there but I'm gonna put the tripod right there I do recommend everybody going to tvfool.com looking at Google Maps and seeing what directions they're coming from but for me right there and then it's wide open to where I need to be all right so that's my next thing okay so now we've got the tripod up and it's level I'm having a little fun with it too I recommend putting one of the poles down in to get the openings just right so for me I'm gonna run that cable down right down through there right up to that window that window have a power outlet inside I'll run the cables up through there now remember with over the air the least amount of cable you have the better reception so now it's time to put the weather center on the mass poles together put it up here we go so before I beat those two ends together the little goes to the big I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on it just to help hold it you're gonna put that end with that notch and that helps lock it okay so now I got the weather center adapter on top and I've got the antenna just basically assembled and put on the pole so now we're going to connect the coax cable okay so for weather proofing I'm gonna put some of this dielectric on the inside of this cable and then I'm gonna put some on the outside of it and then I'm gonna wrap it in this wrap fix to seal it even more now I see a lot of people use a lot of this stuff from what my research shows is it is not necessary okay I did some zip ties so that part's done okay so now she's up now time to put in the pre-booster okay this next part is where people mess up you need a preamp if you live in the mountains or the valleys really no way around it and it's pointless to put up an awesome antenna and not amp it so this guy we're going to put on really simple goes on the pole one it says to antenna goes to, to antenna the next one will go to the cable run in the room we'll run power to it I'll show you all that and that's about it pretty simple but this is a make or break so let's just go slap it on okay so here she is Run from the top Right on down. Now I'm gonna connect the rest of my cable from here, bring it down here, then I'm gonna bury it and run it in to right underneath that window. Here we go. I wanted to show you guys what I've come across to bury this cable. kind of disappears don't it so what I've come across was take your shovel 
and let's go back and forth. You take your cable, and you push it all the way down. And then you take Mother Earth and you push her back together. And what you'll notice in a day or two, it'll grow back together. All right, let's continue. All right guys, now the line is buried. I've got it right there under that window. So now, you wanna take one of these guys, or a metal coat hanger or whatever, you're gonna drill a hole underneath that window and then you're going to push this thing down to where you can grab that line and pull it up. All right, I'm going to go do that and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, now once you have your holes drilled, you're going to take your line, your fishing line, and you're just going to push it down the hole. And then you're going to go under the house. And you're going to fill for it. And then you're going to tape your coax cable to it. You're going to come back in and you're going to fish it back up. Okay, so we got the line. We got it all fished through. We'll pull it up and then we'll cut it here in a minute. Okay, now if you see all this cable, it's not good. So we're going to cut them. And put new ends on them. They need to go to this guy because there are long runs. This guy will boost them through the house. Let me show you. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to get one of these guys and you're going to put it on the coax and I'll show you in a second okay once it's on it you're going to uh, rotate it in clockwise motion since I can't hold the camera and do it I'll just do it real quick and once you once you do that you're basically just going to take the end right here get it to focus and you're just going to peel the little metal shavings back and then you're going to put one of these ends on and you're going to stick in that and you're just going to push it down voila new end so you just put that shield back slide this guy on stick it in that and just cramp it down now we're going to shorten these other cables and we'll go from there okay voila so this guy goes to the antenna, and this is the power for that adapter out there, which we're gonna look at the preamp. This is that jumper we took off of the cable box. This is the power, those two. One's for the living room, one's for the bedroom. Next thing to do is hook up the DVRs. All right. Now we've got our pre-existing wire done. We're just going to unscrew the cable, screw it into the channel master, the HDMI, and then change the power out. Turn it on. All right, here we go. This is on antenna. This one's on cable before I unplug it. We're doing good. One thing I do really like about this is the guide. My, my friends, that is all antenna TV. Now we're going to set up Netflix and Sling. Thank you for watching.